This mod review is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. So guys, hot on the heels of the hot production pack uh, with global company support from yesterday's video, we have the hot animal pen pack uh, in today's video. This pen pack is both seasons ready and animal pen extension ready, uh, and it is the first placeful animal pack that I have seen uh, that lists both seasons compatibility and animal pen extension compatibility. So I thought I'd bring this to you guys today. We've got several animal pens and before we go and look at each and every single one of them uh, that have already got placed down here, let's go look at them in the shop. So if we go to placeables, we have a new category, hot animals. And then we go in here and we can see we have several different choices. We have four cow pens. We have the large cow barn, $125,000. We'll hold 100 cows and will cost us $10 per day. We have the little cow barn, 25 cows, $5 per day. Then we have an outside small cow pasture, 50 cows, $5 per day. And then we have a big cow pasture, 150 cows, and again, $5 per day. Now, I do want to show you guys some stuff. Some of these are rather interesting in that uh, some will let me rotate them a full 360, and some will not. See, this is the large cow pen. We can indeed rotate a full 360 degrees with that one. Small cow pen, we can also rotate a full 360 but interesting enough the cow pasture is limited to you know, four specific rotational angles and same with the large cow pasture can't spin it a full 360 we have to put it on one of the north south east west orientations we have the sheep stable 350 sheep five dollars per day $125,000. We have two pig barns that, for all intents and purposes, look the same. I don't know what these are, how these are different from each other. They both hold 300. The icons look the same. Uh, $10 per day, and if you would put them down, they look the same also. Then we have the little pig barn, $70,000. 50 pigs, $5 per day. Then we go to a chicken coop, $125,000, 500 chickens, $5 per day. The horse stable, eight horses, $5 per day, $125,000. And then we have two placeable manure pits. Now these are just to pile up the poo, if you will. They are $2,000 a piece. Now let's go back here and talk about the other pins in the rotation. So the sheep, once again, we're stuck with one of four angles. Same with the pig building. And you can see the other pig building. It looks the same. In fact, right here is the uh, first pig building. See, from both sides, it looks the same. Little Pig Barn, though, will let us do a full 360. Chicken Coop will also let us do a full 360. As will the Horse Stable. The Manure Pits are locked to one of the four angles as well. All right, so now that we've talked about that, let's take a little closer look at all of these. So here we have the small um, cow pasture. We have our water trough here. Oh, sorry, this is our food trough. Our water trough is the uh, the tanker here. The gate 
and this is where we can purchase our cows. So, and then we have the milk trigger right here. Now, I'm assuming these guys don't produce manure or slurry that we can uh, can collect because I don't see a place to collect that. Now, the two outside pins here also do not appear to have support for animal pin extension, uh, but pretty much most of the other buildings do. Here we are with the big animal pin, and we have our food trough, our water trough, gate, our animal trigger. And then we have our milk point there. Now let's go over here and take a look at our cow buildings. Here we have the big cow enclosure. And here is the marker showing us that we can buy the uh, system. Let's go ahead and do that. Got to wait quite a while before that will happen. Let's go ahead and see how it looks when they come in. We have our milk trigger. Of course, our water trigger, if we should so choose not to use the animal pen extension capability. light switches and here we have our food trough and our straw trigger here we have denoted a cow demonstrating that this is where we can purchase our animals there you go on the outside we have our slurry trigger here open the uh, Open the door to get access to the pipe. Now, these buildings are pretty interesting. The small building actually has an upstairs loft to it. Take a look at that in a moment. Here we have our milk trigger for the small cow pen. Lots of these doors open and close. Our horse, or not a horse, but our cow purchase trigger. We have the food and straw trigger. And like I said, this building has a loft. Come up here, we can go in the door. We have a functional loft. We could, I guess, put uh, bales up here and store them. We could definitely spo store small bales and then drop them down here um, to the level below. And we have two ways of getting bales up here. We have a lift that we actually activate with the left mouse button. Raise lift and lower the lift. Or we could uh, bring them in through the side here. This one doesn't have a lift. But you can see the uh, cows in the milking parlor over there through the window. That's pretty cool. And then this one is the small pig enclosure. Here we have our pig food. Our, our straw trigger. Our slurry. Our pigs.
And we have access to the loft upstairs. By our tech farm system. And we can come here and we can raise the lift. Or lower the lift. Let's go over here and... I don't think I bought the tech farm on this one. Go. Let's go over here and check out the sheep. Here we have the sheep it pen. The gate. Buy our sheep. We have our A trigger here for food. Over wool, and we have our water trigger. Let's go ahead and buy that. See what it looks like. Here are those two placeable manure pins. Go ahead and put those down over here. go check out this is the uh, this is the large pig area that by our pig so that we can see they are we have our straw trigger here on the inside These pins, these gates do open up also. We have our slurry in the gate in the uh, cabinet there. And on this end of the building, we have our pig food. Over here and check out the horse in the horse trigger here. We have our straw trigger for the horses, and then our oat and our hay trigger for the horses. <laughs> It's like the poor guys are stuck inside all the time. Then our water trigger. And then we'll complete this with our chicken pin. We have our food trigger right there. Slurry. up our egg spawn point our chicken delivery point or purchase point then our water because this again includes the animal pen extension which includes the water trigger and if you just want to give them water directly you can do that right here so you can see there's lots of uh, things going on here let's take a look at the animals screen itself and see if there's anything specific about these uh, so as we saw chickens do produce slurry with this pack food requirements are the same for the pigs um, cows looks like that is the same Sheep, that looks about the same. Little pig barn.
Yeah, the cow pasture, you'll see there is no slurry or manure listed for the cow pastures. Horse stables also produces milk or manure and slurry. Not really sure why it says milk there, but uh, but okay. So what we're going to do now is basically fast forward and see this stuff get built out. As far as the animal pen goes. See the plumber has arrived with his stuff here to uh, start building out things. It's going to be going on on all of the different areas. Lots of plumbers set up here with his stuff. Go ahead and just fast forward on until done. Just say he's going to be done. He's going to be done in seven hours. Finished it out, so now we can just see what it all looks like. We have our milk contractor functionality of the animal pen extension. Since we don't have very many animals, it fills up pretty quick. We have the other elk delivery machine. There's the water in there. is for our pigs, our pig, I should say, the water, the revalve for our sheep, And you guys pretty much get the point, right? That uh, all of this works like any split. So guys, that is the hot animal pack. Uh, this mod can be found over at modhoster.com. There will be a link in the description below. Let me know what you guys think of this pack. I kind of like the fact that it now incorporates uh, the animal pin extension. First, um, first placeable that I've seen. That has incorporated that functionality. Of course, you can add this to any um, custom placeable and is already a part of, if you activate it, part of the in game placeables. So until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.